questions. Questions, question orale, arm the leader of the opposition. Here we go, here we go, everybody. Toute une génération de femmes. An entire generation of women will have to relive the trauma of Paul Bernardo with the news that this government moved Paul Bernardo, that monster, from a maximum security facility to a medium, to security. A medium security facility. He will be able to have visitors. He'll be able to interact with other people. I mean, he deserves a lot more, the a lot worse than The Minister of Public Safety jail. said that he was shocked <clears throat> by the news. We now know that he'd been aware for three months. So, what he said was false. Will he resign? The Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Yes, Mr. Speaker, I was shocked. I was shocked because I was informed about this on May 30th the day after Mr. Bernardo was transferred to a medium mm -mm. security institution. He knew for months. It was a mistake within my office. I will take tangible action now. We will always defend victims' rights. I will communicate with representatives of the families of Kristen French and Leslie Mahaffey. We will always stand up for their rights and all victims' rights. The Honourable Opposition Leader. Of Canadian women have to relive the traumatization of hearing Paul Bernardo's name. They all remember his horrific and monstrous crimes. That They learned that this government decided to free this monster from maximum security prison and allow him to go to medium security where he'd be able to interact with other people, have visitors, and enjoy other liberties. Now, this minister claimed this was all a big surprise to him. However, we learned today that his office knew in early March and was informed again in May. In other words, he did know, and what he said was false. Will he resign? Yeah. The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, nothing could be further from the truth. As I said earlier, <coughs> I was informed on May 30th, the day after... And you've never once lied, to so we should believe you. Institution. And at that time, I took immediate action expressing the concerns of the families of Leslie Mahaffey and Kristen French to the Commissioner. There is an internal review process. I have also made it clear to my staff that this should have been briefed immediately. Corrective steps have been taken. I have dealt with it, and we will now always defend the rights of victims. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. No one Speaker, believes that. throwing his staff under the bus. No. The office admits that they found out on March the 2nd, three months before the minister claimed to be shocked by the news. If his staff had really kept a secret from him of this enormity, he would have fired them a long time ago. But he hasn't because he knows, and they know, that he knew way back then. So will he do the only honorable thing that is and resign to do? And resign. <laughs> Let's go, Pierre. Mr. Speaker, I invite the leader of the Conservative Party to repeat that allegation outside of the House. I will absolutely reject it. That's a call for violence. Kick him out. You can't do that. You can't do that. You're protected by parliamentary privilege, and he's threatening Pierre. Order. <laughs> Kick him out. Order. Kick him out, Speaker. That's only fair. I'm going to ask the members to take a deep breath. I Holy crap. So we discuss in here are very emotional, and we get carried away, but I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath and allow the minister to answer so that the honorable... Guys, if you haven't yet, now's the time to drop a like on this video. More people have to see this. Please continue. You have 22 seconds. This is going to be a crazy day. Speaker, it is the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada who misleads this house when he uh, impugns my knowledge before May 30th. I have made it absolutely clear that that was the day on which I found out. I have taken corrective steps internally with my office, an office for which I am responsible for, to this parliament, to the Canadian public, which is why immediately upon knowing that fact that he was transferred to a medium security institution, I raised it with the commissioner. I've spoken with the representatives of the families of Leslie Mahaffey and Kristen French, and we will always defend... Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Well, first of all, I have stated all of these things outside of the House of Commons, so he... Oh! You can try and threaten people. Pierre. Trying to make you can't shut him up. Act, act on, but more important than that, he did not act. His office knew on March the second. He expects us to believe 
that his staff just forgot to walk down the hall and inform him that perhaps the most notorious killer in Canadian history was being moved out of a maximum security penitentiary to enjoy more luxuries and more freedoms in a medium security penitentiary. Finally, he has the power now to designate mass murderers all to go into maximum security prisons. He could have done that weeks ago. Why hasn't he done it? And why hasn't he resigned? Yeah. Oh, my no, God. Mr. Mr. Speaker, the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada lays out a prescription for political interference, which foreshadows what Canadians would get with a Conservative government. On this side of the House, Mr. Speaker, we recognize the independence of those decisions. And when I became aware of the fact that Bernardo had been transferred to a medium security institution, I raised it with the Commissioner. I raised the concern. I'm going to have to interrupt again. I mean, it's getting way out of hand. I just want to take a deep breath. This could be a historic day. Maybe the speaker will walk out if it gets too out of hand. Say you're sorry. Mr. Speaker, Say you're sorry. the questions that are posed by the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada, Canadians know they will get a prescription for political interference. On this side of the House, we're doing it the right way. Today, I will be issuing new ministerial instructions to the Correctional Services of Canada to make sure that they put victims' rights at the centre of decisions to transfer, that they inform victims' families before those transfers take place, and we will always stand up for their rights. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, it is the legitimate power of a public safety minister to issue directives about classes of prisoners. The former public safety minister, Ralph Goodale, did that about prisoners suspected of having contraband. Right. That is normal. That is a power that the minister has today. He could classify all mass murderers as requiring maximum security detention. That is a decision he could make now. It is a decision he could have made on March the 2nd when his office became aware that this monster was being transferred out of maximum security prison. Mm -hmm. Given that he has not done that and because he has misled this House, will the Prime Minister fire him? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Public safety. Mr. Speaker, perhaps the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada did not hear my last answer. We will be issuing new directions to the Co Correctional Service of Canada to ensure that they put victims' rights at the centre of these decisions, to be sure that they inform victims' families before these transfers take place, and to be sure that I am directly notified on a go-forward. What did they get with Conservatives, Mr. Speaker, the last time they were in government? Cuts to the Correctional Services of Canada in the amount of... Look at them projected. ...last year of government. Boo. That's the difference. <clears throat> Canadian he just can't cope. And what they will get with our government. Drop an L in the chat for Marco. The Honourable Member for La Prairie. Mr. Speaker, the government must launch an inquiry into Chinese interference. That was great. And before the end of the session. The government seems more open, but we're not making any headway in reality because the government is refusing to be clear about their intentions. It's because of an interesting word, one that starts with P. When we talk about inquiry, the government talks about public process, but no matter how hard I try to figure it out, I can't figure out what a public process is. And I'm afraid the candidates for the inquiry don't know what it means either. But you know what is clear and even defined by a law? A public commission of inquiry. That would be clear. So why yes, not sir. announce a public independent Commission of Inquiry. Everyone wants it. It's That's that simple. All three party leaders want it. Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs. Mr. Speaker, I thank my colleague for his question. I share with all parliamentarians the desire to decide on the right process. Now, Mr. Speaker, a public inquiry has always been an option on the table. But we need to find the right way to do this work. We need wow. to find a way that protects. That's the first time. The confidential. They've actually admitted that an inquiry is on the table. And we also want to restore Canadians' trust. That's what we want to do. And an inquiry is going to happen within the next month. The Honourable Member for you. La Prairie. Public process again. Mr. Speaker, it's not easy to get facts out of them. When we talk about an inquiry into interference, it's like the government is playing a game of not yes, not no, but it has to say yes. They need to say yes because it's just too important. The government has a duty to launch this inquiry before the end of the session. In order to do so, the government must first announce the format of the inquiry, which mm -hmm. should be a commission, and two, ensure that the commissioner is truly independent. No one will accept the position of commissioner if the government keeps its intention secret. So, Public and Independent Commission of Inquiry, one question, yes or no? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I 
said yesterday that we appreciated the Bloc Québécois letter. It was an important step in reaching consensus among parties with regard to the best way to move forward. Now the colleague says he wants a public independent commission of inquiry. Maybe he didn't hear me. I said that that is an option on the table for the government. The second time now. We do need to define the terms of the public in- inquiry. We need to define and determine the process. Guys, this is groundbreaking. We need to determine how we're going to protect confidential information, what the timelines will be, and who the right person should the be. The government is backpedaling, and inquiry. they're going to do an inquiry. The Honourable Member for Burnaby South. Office of the Public Security Minister. We just have found out that his office was a aware of the transfer of Paul Bernard of, out of maximum security three months ago, but the minister claims that he only knew about it on May 30th. If the minister can't keep his house in order, how is he going to keep the country safe? When will the minister stop waiting beside a fax machine and start checking his emails for these serious updates? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Sir, I want to thank my colleague from the NDP for his question. As I said earlier in this chamber, that I was notified on May 30th, the day after Paul Bernardo was transferred to a medium security institution. Uh, I have taken corrective steps to deal with the issues within my office and going forward have uh, indicated that we will be issuing new instructions to the Correctional Service of Canada to put victims' rights at the very centre of transfer decisions to make sure that victims' families are notified. And that is something that I will continue to be focused on every day. That These guys want Thanks Paul Bernardo to, to be out on the streets, well, man. Thanks for watching the video to the very end. If you'd like to subscribe, I've made it very easy. You can do so by clicking right there. If you'd like to watch another House of Commons highlight clip, you can do so by clicking right there. And if you'd like to subscribe to my main channel, Mr. Sunshine Baby, where it's all Canadian political news, then you can do so by t- tapping up there. Um, subscribing is absolutely free. There's a button down below that says subscribe. If you'd like to join and become a member and financially contribute, you could do so as well. Thank you so much for watching this video.